Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again this time as planned and we have to go and grab ourselves a crown and another mutation to unlock yet another secret ultra. We've got two secret ultras to go for here. This one with the hint speed, we have to grab the crown of speed as well as extra feet. And this one is basically just have the crown of blood when we reach ultra. So we have to do two runs to unlock these, but I'm hoping we can um, get it done. And we're starting with a decent weapon, just a, the slugger. I like it. Um, and we'll see what we can get done here. So we're going for maximum speed, maximum boosties here um, to see what we can get done. And I'm really excited to unlock both of these. I'm actually just really excited in general to be playing through this game with some more purpose. I've been enjoying just like mindlessly playing this game. This game is actually one of my favorite games and say favorite mods to be able to just jump on and play a bit mindlessly. Um, we want to be looking for extra feet. Uh, we'll take we'll take shotgun shoulders actually while we've got the shotgun. Why not? Shotgun shoulders has been super useful for me recently. Um, yeah, uh, I've been super enjoying just jumping on. It's just one of those games that you can just kind of jump on and have a bunch of fun with. Um, We'll take Inversion Magnet. And yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, grabbing all of these different Ultras now that they're permanently unlocked, these secret Ultras. And we've got, like I said, two to unlock with this character. Um, both require a crown. The good thing is, um, once we de get one crown, we then permanently have the ability to start with another crown. Uh, metal Pipe, it better do the sound effects. Ah, It should do the fucking Metal metal Pipe sound effect when it hits enemies. Like, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> That'd be so funny. It'd be really over the top and stupid, but it'd be funny. I don't know why I've decided to keep the metal pipe at this point, but there you go. I think metal pipe is new, to be honest. I don't think I've seen it before. Seems like a fine little, uh, little extra there. But yeah, extra feet and crown of speed. We just gotta hope we find extra feet, of course. We don't you don't always obviously get what you want. But in that case, there is patience to help out, so we can always grab patience to uh alleviate some of our pain points potentially. This would be a really good weapon with Scarier Face, you know. We've got to look out for Scarier Face. I really, really love the change to Scarier Face. It's just it's it's a bold move, honestly, is changing a fan favorite um mutation. Um and changing it into something completely different, or very, very different, should I say. But it's it works out, considering there's stuff in the game that does similar stuff, like uh, Glass Arm Cannon. It's 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 bold, but it's it's nice. I like it. Um, so there's that. There's extra feet, though. We've got to take extra feet because we need it for the uh, for this. We also need to now get a crown as soon as possible. I forget which one crown of speed it is. Is a crown of speed the one where pickups disappear faster? Or is that crown of haste? I don't know if crown of speed is one that's regularly available to me, so I'm gonna have to have a look. Crown of blood definitely is, though. I remember crown of blood. This gun's doing a, a mighty fine job at the moment. Flame shotgun, I'll take over it, though, because with uh, the bounty shots, it's gonna be better to have multiple pellets. Get out of here, you. Uh, better accuracy could be good. Flexible elbows could be nice. I think I'm going to take Absorbing Paws, though, for the survivability. I think Absorbing Paws is a very good... Did we take Second Stomach? I can't remember. No, we didn't. Okay. It's weird the patient shows up once it's used. Yeah, I think Shotgun Shoulders make shotguns just infinitely better. It, 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 it takes their AoE ability and really ramps it up to 11. So it's it's really worth taking if you have a good shotgun. I have accidentally just clicked on the other side of my screen, so it's happening out. I apologize. The only thing is, as you can clearly see, I'm missing out on a lot of rads and stuff because the things are dying like way off screen, which is why we need um, Plutonium Hunger, really. Plutonium Hunger would be a good addition to all of this. There you go, we got a crown at least now. Right, crown of speed. Throwing butt. Um, I like that idea, but I think I'm just going to stick with what I've got going on at the minute and take tough shell for survivability. Pot shot I will take as a secondary weapon. And let's go grab ourselves a crown. 
Crown of Speed. That that is Crown of Haste. Okay. What is Crown of Speed then? Crown of Speed. All projectiles are faster. Everyone moves slightly faster. Oh lord. I don't think I've ever used this, uh... This, this might actually be pretty tricky, to be honest. Ooh, this has bouncy shots, too. It's like a... pop weapon, so... It's good that I picked this up. This is indeed a lot of speed. We're probably gonna have to take a few attempts at this. Starting with this cram would also be kind of tricky, I think. Damn it, missed that health right when I needed it. Fire and freeze in one is, is pretty nice here. I can snare him as well, to be fair. I don't, I don't use the snare very often. I just don't use my active abilities very much in this game, I'll be honest. Flame pop gun is probably better than that, yeah. Yeah, let's take a proper pop gun, shall we? We're going all fire this time. What? Is one of you down here? Oh, it must be one of the birds. Oh no, I think it was stuck in the wall. Would love some healing, please, game. Um, rhino skin for survivability is going to be nice here. Frost bullet flak cannon. Okay, that is just, it does just fire bullets. I, I thought it would, but I had to check. I do kind of like this crown of speed. It's nice, it, nice bit of a challenge. On top of the game's already challenging challenge. Yeah, th those guys are new. The big dudes that have the uh, extra stuff in them, the extra enemies inside them, are definitely new. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a really strong weapon here, so this isn't going to be a super quick fight. But it should be fairly quick. That wasn't too bad at all. Wasn't too bad at all. Apparently still a weapon enemy left. There you go. Yeah, I'd like some more powerful weapons here. We're only level 6 at the minute. May have made a mistake coming down here. We'll see. Gotta make sure to get all the rads we can. Holy shit, did you see how close that car was to me then? My goodness, that was close to me. Dying a very, very horrible death there. It would have been a fair death, but a very horrible one indeed. Bouncer crash. Okay, I think I'm going to take that, even though it doesn't actually technically... It, 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 it's weird. It, it, like, does get bouncy bullets, but not from my mutation. <laughs> We'll take Strong Spirit here. We're, we're all At the minute, we're all about survival. We've got everything we need. We're all about survival now. Getting as much rads as we possibly can and living as long as possible, so. The aim of the game right now. Fire Shotgun's still doing a bang up job. It, it doesn't have a ton of damage, but it has, it has enough and it has wide AoE, is the really big thing for us here. It's hitting like everything at once. I'd like to check what that weapon was, but oh well. For another day, I suppose. It's really the faster projectile speed, obviously, that's the real kicker. Especially against a guy like this. Fuck me. I don't like this guy at the best of times. So. Luckily, he's kind of just chilling in the corner there. Wow, he, he really decided to bitch out and just chill, which was very nice. We're level 8 already. 51 HP those guys have. Good to know. Hyper bouncer rifle. Seems good. We're level 8 already. Okay, what can we do? To, is there anything to increase our survivability here? Insomnia is pretty good. 
Insomnia is pretty good. Impact Wrist is going to be good for just extra damage, though, I think. Which is survivability in itself, really. There's so much going on right now. Remember, if these guys touch you, they do some big damage, so... Holy shit, there's so many laser crystals. What the fuck's going on with these guys right now? There's a Kraken Launcher. Ooh, the Kraken Launcher is absolutely... It's cursed, but the Kraken Launcher is absolutely fantastic. It's got such good AoE and single target damage. It does lock us into uh, a pretty bad scenario if it doesn't give us what we want. Well, Fire Shotgun has been doing us absolutely fine thus far. Who's left? Okay. Level 9. Good. Did just walk into that guy there for no good reason. Boss is about to spawn. The only thing about this thing is the fire rate is pretty low on it. It can be a little tedious sometimes. Luckily, this thing will do amazing damage against this guy, and it's pretty much herming as well. That was that was a really really bad. Please die. Thank you. Oh my god, that was so close to me dying there. Ooh, we're so close as well. Okay, sometimes it, it's weird. Sometimes the Kraken Launcher absolutely rinses things, and other times it does like very little damage. Don't know what's up with the discrepancy there. Uh, scarier Face is obviously just very, very good. Um, yeah, we'll take Scarier scary, scary Face. is just too good to not say. I'm a bit worried about my current ammo situation, I'll be honest. Especially worried when big boys like that jump at me. I don't know how the Kraken weapons interact with uh, Scarier Face, but I'm hoping well. Although because of the way it deals its damage, I don't think it will be. Energy Jackhammer, please let us get to Ultra before the end of the stage. You've got to be kidding me, why? Mini Plasma Minigun. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, this is going to be tough. First of all, I need to destroy that. There's our Ultra. Just play it safe. Play it as safe as we can. Keep our distance from these big boys. They die pretty quickly to this weapon. I think we got it. A lot of these boys. My god. One second. Apologies, some people just came into my house, so I should close the door real quick. Do not kill me, don't you dare. Why is there so many of the dogs? They're like the most dangerous thing here, and there's like so fucking many of them. My god. Okay, I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, you can move extremely fast, accelerating or decelerating quickly, create a sonic boom. Interesting. Okay, reload speed, we'll grab that. Hmm, I wonder how much damage that does. Probably pretty good. Oh. I wonder, without Gamma Guts, I imagine this is like not something I want to be using on the regular, right? This feels very satisfying, though. 
I'm definitely gonna kill myself with it there. Yeah, damn. And we got a new crown of blood next, I think. Kraken launch is there. How much damage does this do then? Can I can I like hit you with this? It's kind of not really the best person to try this on, is it? But it kills quick. This weapon kills pretty quick. Right. Okay, with second stomach, I can imagine this being good. Without it, it's 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 a little it's a little hard to control. There's a lot going on right now. I like this weapon there. Right, I'm gonna have to pause and adjust a moment. Oh my god. Honestly, I think we should die anyways to go get the next one. So let's uh, let's let something kill us. Hello, you. Yeah. Cool. We'll, we'll pause now and we'll go and try and get the next one unlocked, but that's that's good for getting one of them. One sec. Right, so let's continue on and we will run another run back. We'll go back into the start here so we can select our crown. And this time we want to go with the crown of blood, I believe it is, which I don't remember which one crown of blood is. Uh, more enemies, less rads. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, I've never actually used this crown, so I don't know how many more enemies there is. Um, I've not, like I said, I've not really played with this crown before. But then again, more enemies is more fun, but it's probably a bit more difficult. It's not quite loop amount of enemies, which is good. I, I, for some reason, I was expecting it to be like, basically like you were on a loop. And it'd just be an insane amount of enemies. So I'm glad it's not that. <laughs> but um, it does mean the rads are going to be a little... I don't know. I don't know if you overall get more rads because there's more enemies or what. It's a pretty bad... Uh, Pretty bad death there. Yeah, I don't know if you overall end up getting more rads in the long run because there's more enemies to kill or how that sort of pans out in the end. I'm going to kind of leave those uh, those little fellas down there while I get a better gun to kill them with because at the minute I don't feel comfortable really killing them with this thing because it just uses a lot of ammo. Pop gun's much better. Kill them all with a pop gun. Beautiful stuff. So yeah, we got level 2 uh, on the last one, but I don't know if we're going to get it this one. Oh no, we did. Nice, nice. Good stuff. We can probably do this, I think. We can probably do this. Um, Gamma Guts is probably a good one to take with more enemies. Um, also saves us some ammo here and there. We like that, we like that. Has Gamma Guts got kind of an aura to it now? Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of hits enemies before I actually hit them directly, which I don't think is vanilla. I think that's new. It is nice to be able to just do that. <laughs> Steamroll enemies a little bit. But yeah, I think with the amount of extra enemies we've got, it makes sense. Okay, these guys I have to uh, kill first. Oh my god, this is so many enemies. What the fuck? Don't, don't shoot me, please. Ah, okay. This is probably going to be a bit tricky. I, I honestly think we probably don't want this as a starting weapon either. Like, it's it's very strong. Oh, I don't have gamma guns anymore. It's very strong, but obviously the single target aspect of it is, uh, is pretty bad. I do probably need to use my active a little more, though. Honestly, keeping enemies at bay by um, keeping them locked up to certain areas is going to be pretty useful, I think. I do think the amount of rads you get overall is better, though, so maybe this is something I should take more often. Not a crown I've really messed around with too much before, but it's it's some extra fun. Um, Throne Boot is probably a pretty good one to take right now, to be honest. Extra size and killing enemies faster is uh, kind of nice. I think I like it. Yeah, I think this I think this is a is a good choice to be honest. Keeping enemies locked down and having them get executed at a certain amount of health is uh, two things I quite like. But now we've just got to make it to ultra. This thing is a best weapon, so I will uh, go for this. 
He doesn't use up any extra ammo either. Okay. Obsidian throwing knife. I never really thought I'd get the point of that. Never really get to use utilize it. Okay. Good, good. I like this quite a bit. It's a little hard to use the um, use the thing the right time every time, the snare. But I will try when I can. It's nice having this extra radius on it, to be honest. Because I can kind of do what I just did there and like block off an entire doorway. And then enemies can kind of run into it themselves. I'm just going to do a piece of time straight away, I think. Just trying to look better golden weapons. Uh, rabbit's paw, impact wrists, trigger fingers. Rabbit's paw is probably the better one here. And yeah, I will take that. Yeah, see, that's that's useful to, to have these guys locked down. Oh, I missed out some stuff up there. My bad. It's going to be good for the boss on this stage, because the boss, he likes to move it, move it. Honestly, these fish as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that makes him so much easier. Wow. I like that a lot. Plasma gun. It's a little hard to hit the fish, to be honest with this. Okay, we can just kind of go now. Away we go. Right, absorbing pause is always fun, I'll take that. This is this is a pretty good combo. I've never really messed around with the uh, the snare the snare all too much, but it's it's pretty goddamn good. Should give it more credit. That yeah, <laughs> that I could see coming. That's a bit annoying because I didn't manage to unlock any other guns there. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the the golden. Thingy. I just don't think it's working for us. We've got disc gun. We do have a golden screwdriver. I think I'm just gonna go for golden wrench though. Like golden wrench is just standard sort of thing. It's not a great weapon, but any golden melee weapon is is not bad at all. Infinite ammo and, and the like is uh, quite nice. Cool. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get level two here by the looks of things. Oh, actually, no, we will, we will. I don't know if there was this many more enemies left. Seems like you always get level 2 on Curse of Blood. Um, trigger Fingers is probably pretty good with the melee weapon, so just swing it a lot faster. Destroying shot from the like is very nice. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, knocking back shots where I can too. Doesn't always just destroy them. Okay. Can't destroy those shots, though. Use me, little fella. Long arms would be quite nice with this, to be honest. I, I, I don't do full melee very often, but I think full melee can be quite safe. Obviously, you have to get closer to the enemies on average, but with the right setup, you don't, really. With long arms and a good melee weapon, you can have some pretty good range. Too bad on that guy. Up to level three. Ooh, there's a lot more enemies over here. Dude, it, it's insane how much more enemies you get on this. I think the, the amount of rads you get per stage must go up quite a bit, to be honest. I like it. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, no long arms yet, but I will take impact and absorbing pause once again. Okay, 
lots and lots and lots of uh, crocodilias here. Not good for us. Not particularly hard to deal with either. So they don't really fire until you get right up next to them. By that point, they're usually dead. So we've got an explosive weapon there. Uh, I'm going to go through here, actually, because this does take you to um, to the YV mansion place eventually. I don't know where anything is and what I've killed so far, I'll be honest. Okay, be, be, be a little bit more careful. Dude, I said be more careful, you dildo. Oh my lord. What did I just say? Okay, hopefully we'll just get long arms this time. That'll alleviate a lot. But I very much like bashing all the bodies around then. That was, that was putting in work. Yeah, I never really considered this a good mutation, but uh, a good uh, crown, sorry, but I actually think it is. I think it's very good. It seems to be consistently hitting level 2, which is not not super common. Um, yeah, impact wrists once again. Oh, but long arms, though. I'm going to have to go for long arms, aren't I? Look at the amount of extra range you get and, like, the hitbox size and stuff. It's just ludicrously good. It's very, very good. We got a uh, micro assault rifle. I very much like the micro weapons, so I'll take that. Scarier face would be good with melee weapons, I think. Take care of all these guys first. This, this gun has accuracy, baby. Holy shit. That thing's super, super accurate. I like that a lot. Um, trigger fingers is probably the way to go here. What we saw previously. You know, to kind of spam fire it if there's enemies being killed. I'm not going to go for a new golden weapon now. I was going to, but... I've since given up on that dream. I just want to reach my ultra with this crown. It's all I need to do. It ain't that hard. It ain't that hard. With trigger fingers as well, it's just so good at blocking shots. The fire rate is amazing. Um... Um, I managed to open up the car there with a wrench. Is that new? That's got to be new. I've never It blew up. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, but still, good to know. Good to know. Um, Plutonium Hunger is just very, very good now. The I'll take that. Unfortunately, it's a two-hit kill on some of these geezers now. Isn't ideal, but it's enough. It's enough. A shot managed to sneak in there. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really know how. That's a kind of a miracle for these guys. Oh my god, the amount of enemies, man. It's insane. Hot shot is good, but I'm sticking with a micro weapon. Um, rhino skin, yeah. We gotta go for rhino skin. I wonder if cars count as enemies. I wonder if, if you've got crown of blood, more cars spawn. I, I feel like that would be a thing, you know. I feel like in the game's code, they would technically count as an enemy. Therefore, the assassins, quite a lot of them on the floor. There's just so many of them laying down over there. Kind of funny, to be honest. Managed to hit the sniper shots back, it's pretty satisfying. Although, not all that useful. Oh 
Oh my god. There's just so many enemies. I think I will take a mini plasma shotgun to be honest. I think that sounds pretty good. I think that sounds pretty darn good. Um, Gamma Guts is probably a good call here, but I think I'm going to go for Strong Spirit. Energy Backstabber. I don't know how good this will be because it's an energy weapon. And it's also one that consumes ammo. isn't great. It's kind of a weird one, this. I think, I don't know if it's any better with long arms, to be honest. I can't really tell. It seems like it would be. It sounds really cool. I'll definitely say that. Hey, big boy. Seeker crossbow. I'll take a Seeker crossbow. Where's my last little friend? All the way over here. What are you doing over there? Geezer. The fire rate's abysmal here. But the damage is good. The damage is good. It doesn't kill one of those guys in one hit, which isn't as much damage as I was hoping for, but at the same time, I can't expect the world. I'm very surprised I didn't die there. There's a car thrower there as well. He threw the car, man. How have I got no energy ammo still? I feel like I've picked up loads of ammo and none of it's been energy. Dude, game, come on. Be reasonable, game. Dude, the amount of enemies is obscene. Shotgun lance seems perfection itself for us right now. Yeah, no car throwing, please. Okay, shotgun lance is good. I like this. I'm guessing you can still fire it even when you're out of ammo. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. just wonder if it fires more shotgun blasts. And I wonder if this thing fires more. Don't think either of them do, to be honest. I think trigger fingers might actually be a necessity here, so I'm very glad I picked it up. Okay, you can't fire that thing even when you're out of ammo, which is a real pain in the ass. Doesn't really make sense that you can't just use the lance on its own, but... Hey, her. This is insane. This is fucking crazy. Quadruple flame shotgun, of course. I do not like this guy getting involved. He's a cheeky fucker, and he knows he is. But where's he gone? Where's he gone? Okay, we got him. Man. I don't know how we're living through all of this. It's crazy. The game keeps giving me fucking explosive weapons and shit I don't need. Back off. Looks like we're going to hit our level up fairly soon, though, uh, which is nice. 
This gives us extra rads. Oh god, the amount of purple bullets coming at us right now is uh, a little too high. I really don't like the fact that these bats can just hover over the top of the walls, man. It's really cheesy. Where'd that fireball come from? Does, does anyone know where that fireball came from? Yeah, I'm out of ammo on this thing. Never a good time. Green bats, can you please get off the fucking wall so I can kill you? It feels a little like bullshit to me. Either come at me or don't. Bouncer laser pistol seems good. It's got piercing. Dude. Dude. Very nearly died there. Oh, I've got thingy, haven't I? The protection thing. That's what it's called now. But still. Okay, now I very nearly died. Ammo, how do you elude me, sir? Okay. Good, good. We are level 9 now. As is tradition, we take Tough Shell. Tough Shell is just amazing. Unfortunately, we do have to fight the Bat Boss, which recently has been proving to be very difficult. Also, this, this formation of walls right here is uh, quite fucking me off. Stop firing through walls, you dicks. Being cowards, come out here and fight like a man. Or like a woman. Or like anything, anyone can fight. That saying is kind of sexist, actually. I know the bat boss is going to spawn when I've got fucking no ammo and I'm stuck. You know, like right now. Fucking get out of here. Yeah, the auto spear launcher kind of saved us there. Unfortunately, no, no level ten though. No level ten. I was hoping for it at this stage, but the game was not not so kind. Oh my fucking god, there's no way I'm gonna live through this bullshit. What what is what is this crap? Most of them can come through fucking walls. How am I meant to live through this? I've not even ugh, remotely got the ammo to deal with this. What is this? I don't even have gamma guts. This is bad. Okay, I did get my ultra. But I did almost just die. Okay, this thing's pretty good, but it eats the ammo. Fuck off. Fuck you, big dog boys. Get out of here. I think we've done it, but just about. There's, please don't tell me there's fucking more. I've not got the ammo, game. Holy. My goodness, we did it. Okay. Kill, kill, kill. Your active changes into kill, 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 target one enemy, deal an absurd amount of damage to it, and uh, as, uh, an absurd amount of damage to it and any of its type. You have, uh, if you have the room, but also heal two, can be done three times per area. I like the idea of that. So basically, find the big dog and annihilate him. Yeah. 
I like that a lot. <laughs> That seems really good for looping, to be honest, as well. Like, really, really good for looping. So now all the big dogs will be, like, next to death. Because I think they have 250 health, and that's, like, 230-something. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's get in there and see what we can do with this guy. So can I just, like, use all three stacks on the boss and just do, like, a thousand damage? That I can. That I can. <laughs> we like that. We like that a lot. Hello. It does 250 damage each pair. Yeah, that's... That's very, very nice. Sir, what enemy? You. You. <laughs> and you. No more maggots. <laughs> Ooh, that's... That's pretty nice. <laughs> I gotta say, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. None of you left. <laughs> okay, that's a super good ultra, man. We're dead, but I don't give a damn. That's a super fun ultra. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. We'll be trying to unlock more as we go ahead, and I'll see you guys in the next one.